Hi everyone, my name is Duncan Gordon and I'm the Managing Director of a company called Dunk Design and we're based in Windsor in Berkshire. As a graphic designer uh, and a managing, managing director, I have two jobs really. Um, as a managing director, uh, I'm in charge of the day-to-day -day running of the business. Um, I need to make sure that money comes in so that we can pay people. Uh, I need to make sure that the clients are kept happy I need to make sure that the work is kept on track, that it's organized correctly. And I need to know how and where to invest the money uh, when we make it, whether that's giving people pay rises, investing in training, or buying new equipment such as the latest Apple Mac um, so that we can make our work as efficient and as creative as possible. I'm also in charge of getting in new business uh, along with my business partner. And generally I have to oversee all elements of the creative outputs of the business. Um, so that could be briefing and managing freelancers such as web designers, videographers. Sometimes we get involved with creating music. Um, sometimes we get involved with creating all sorts of w wonderful things that go into say restaurants so it could be wall graphics, murals, um, could be interior design. So I have to make sure that there's a nice uh, element of creativity and, and a, a strong message and a, and a powerful branded message uh, running all, all the way through everything that we do. Um, the skills uh, I need in my job, obviously, is managing people, as I've said before, um, clients and the staff making sure that the staff are happy, um, listening to their needs, responding to them. Basically, I want my staff to be happy. Um, it doesn't happen all the time, but that's what we aim for. Um, I also want to stay, you know, for them to stick around. I want them to grow with the business. I want them to take on new training. Um, I want them to learn, grow. Um, I want them to be part of the business success so that they feel, uh, they feel that they've achieved um, something rather than just working um, for me or for the business. Um, it's also very important that I manage the finances, uh, the money coming in as well as the money going out. Um, and one of the other things as a creative agency is that you have to be able to identify trends in the market. So for instance, a new way of marketing, a new way of uh, communicating, Video has become massive at the moment, especially on social media and websites. Um, social media, obviously, that's another trend that's now become uh, embedded in, in the way that all marketing and creative agencies do business. So it's, it's understanding those new trends and making sure that we respond to them effectively. The subjects I studied at school, uh, art, design, English, they're the key, the key subjects. They're the ones that I was most interested and excited about. I wasn't very good at maths. Um, I had a good teacher for a couple of years and she got me through all my main exams, so that was great. Um, otherwise, I just my main focus really from the age of about seven was to, um, was to just wanting to be creative. I spent a lot of time in my bedroom in my early years, in my teen years, um, copying uh, album covers, designing logos, building spaceships out of paper, that kind of stuff. So um, you've really got to have a passion for this business. Uh, from an early age, and, and really that's what drives you. The qualifications you need, you don't need any. Um, I worked with a guy when I first started. Um, his name was Nick. Uh, he started working when he was 16. He left school when he was 16. He went to work for an art working company in, uh, in the local area, um, and he worked himself up. He never had any qualifications in, in graphic design or, or, or indeed art. Um, and he worked himself up as a graphic designer. He taught himself uh, how to use a Mac, found out how to find his way around Adobe Creative Suite. And now he, he is the, uh, the creative director of a big London agency called Bulletproof in London. So qualifications I would recommend uh, for getting a job uh, in the creative industry and in, in graphics, anything arty. So if you love art, then that's a fantastic gateway into the graphic design business. Um, I did a foundation course in art and design when I left school after my back in those days A-levels, um, which was a year where they experimented, we experimented with a number of different types of design and art, so fine art, photography, um, 3D art, architecture, 
throwing pots made out of clay, um, all sorts of wonderful, weird and wonderful things. And, and, and it, it allows you to really let loose and go crazy and work out what you want to do. So I did a year as foundation, and then I did three years at art college down in Kent, specialising in something called communication media, um, which essentially was, was graphic design, illustration, those sorts of things. Um, a lot of the um, education you'll find you will get on the job. Uh, but there are plenty of online courses you can take as well. So um, when you're working for business, when you first start out, the, your peers around you will, will help you. They'll help to bring you up. They'll have their ideas. You'll have your ideas. You'll grow in confidence. And you'll end up um, you know, being, owning your own ideas and, and taking on your own projects and, and being great at it. So I always encourage people when I see them, when they're just coming up to, uh, to keep a whole lot of sketchbooks and keep your ideas, um, archive them. Um, I know some designers and, and, and creative people who've got hundreds and hundreds of sketchbooks full of sketches, but also full of things ripped out of magazines and stuck down. Obviously you can do this online now um, through Pinterest. Um, there's a number of apps that you can use. But that I think is really key in becoming a successful creative. It's, it's just the passion behind it and the ability to be able to save um, the things you like so that you can use them and access them and, and respond to them uh, at a later date. If you can, if you can get access to Adobe Creative Suite, get on it, practice, practice, practice. InDesign, Illustrator, Photoshop. If you want to get into more time-based media such as uh, filming, videography, that kind of thing, then I would recommend uh, Adobe Premiere. Uh, also, After Effects, great for creating you know, wacky visuals and animations and title scenes and all that kind of stuff. And obviously, a lot of this stuff is available um, as apps as well. It's very, very simple to, to use apps. One that I find really good fun is uh, Adobe Premiere Rush, which is a fantastic app for your phone where you can make some great videos really quickly. Typical working hours. Um, so if you Google uh, graphic designer funny memes, uh, you will see that most funny memes about graphic designers imply that we work all hours, every hour, and after a, a, a year of working as a graphic designer, we look haggard and all our hair's grown long. We haven't had a bath for, for, for two years. But uh, actually, there's, there is an element of truth in that. Um, we do have to work hard, depending obviously the, the workload, but you will find that with some projects, they need to be turned around very, very quickly. Um, I've actually stayed up all night and slept in the studio a couple of times. Um, a few years ago getting jobs completed because you couldn't afford to waste time going home and coming back again. The salary range uh, from a junior designer up to a creative director can go anything from um, from 18,000 uh, 18, a year up until 100, 80 to 100,000 um, for a creative director. Obviously it depends where you are. If you're great at your job then the people are going to want to work with you and they'll pay you more. I would say look at the past as well as the present, as well as the future. So look at the brilliant designers of, of, of the last 50 years. I would say look at people like Saul Bass. Look at some of the amazing work that some of the big film directors have done in the past, especially in the 1970s and 1980s when, when they transferred from being uh, creative people in advertising agencies to making movies. So look at people like Ridley Scott, Alan Parker, look at their early movies and look at the visionaries, the vision that they had and how they, how they turned that from graphic design into, into, into films and videos. Look at people like Andy Warhol, pop artists, um, and look at the way that they, their careers have changed the way the world think about art and graphic design. Um, any pop artist, I would say, you know, is a fantastic uh, starting point for any graphic designer, um, just because their work is is, is very, it's, well, it's, it's popular work, which is essentially what uh, a graphic design is, it's popular creativity. So look at those visionaries, um, try and understand the way that they were thinking, what they were trying to achieve. Sign up to Design Week online if you can. It's a great magazine, it updates you with all the latest news, in marketing and design, all the great creative ideas. 
there's a couple of great books I would recommend, um, which I have here. This one is a fantastic book when you're starting out. It's called Design Your Life. It'll help you to uh, apply design principles to some of the decisions you make in your life, which will help you on your career or help you to start a, uh, a, new, um, a new career in something else. Um, there's another great book called The Infinite Game by a guy called Simon Sinek. He's the guy from the Millennials interview on social media, if you've seen that. Um, it talks about playing the long game to achieve long-standing effective business, uh, businesses and, and, and brands. Um, so, for instance, not just being reactive to one thing, but creating a, a long-standing strategy which will get you to where you are. I would just say work hard, love what you do. Speak to design agencies, ring them up. Um, don't just go in expecting to, you know, uh, for, for a graphic designer to just, uh, you know, give you a lot of advice necessarily. You need to interact with them. You need to show them your work. Your work is the most important thing that you will have, either in the form of a portfolio. You could print stuff out if you wanted to, like in the olden days, put in a black portfolio and carry it around. But nowadays, obviously, an iPad or a little PDF um, talk that talk through your ideas with uh, with with the, the agencies that you go and see, um, and just interact with them and get some advice off them. Don't necessarily go there asking for some work. Um, just just look, just say you know how can you help me? I'm just started out. Um, we find that uh, we sit down with this, with 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 young people who've got um, portfolios to show us. We we invite them in just to have a chat. What we give them in an hour and a half chat is probably better than two weeks uh, as a work placement um, because it's all about sort of understanding how they think how they work if you can get yourself in front of another creative person with a bit more experience than you then then all good and well just ring them up email them to say can i come and have a chat it's easily done you, if you email 10 people I'm, i guarantee one or two of them will say come on and have a chat with us so in summary i would encourage you if you want to be a graphic designer get on it but work hard, um, live it and breathe it. Be aware of the environment around you. Um, take it in, make notes, make, keep, keep sketchbooks. It's a fantastic job, fantastic career. Go for it.